No, no, get it. This one. No, 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 that's bad. That's bad. The Lord. Whilst I was in Rome to cover the Italian election, I came across a video online of a reporter being attacked by migrants live on air, not far from where I was staying. What happened in a station central in Italy at night? Francesca. Molti di loro provengono dall'Africa centrale, alcuni dalla zona del Maghreb, ma ti devo dire Nicola, anche parlando un po' con loro, quasi tutti sono stanziali qui alla stazione Termini. Domani mattina riporranno le loro coperte, riporranno i loro cartoni e torneranno nuovamente qui a dormire, ancora una volta. E perché la loro speranza è quella di raggiungere soprattutto Milano e altre città del nord e poi spostarsi nel nord Europa. Non li vorremmo disturbare oltre perché però è importante sapere che questa l'accoglienza che noi siamo stati aggrediti che succede francesca francesca e ci hanno aggrediti nicola beh ma tu vattene via non te nicola, ne preoccupare non so se mi senti ci hanno aggrediti francesca ma cosa vuoi ma cosa vuoi ah! ah! the sheer of this attack shocked me I tried to start digging deeper into Italy's spate of high-profile migrant attacks. I found that this was far from the worst. Just in December, a Somali migrant dressed as a nurse, he snuck into a hospital and he attempted to rape a woman who was giving labour. The same year a Polish tourist was gang raped on a beach in Verona while her partner was beaten and forced to watch. Think about that. It's horror stories. In 2018, an 18-year-old woman was killed by a Nigerian migrant and her dismembered body stuffed into suitcases. That just happened months ago. Even just this year again, just minutes from where the journalist was attacked, a 75-year-old German woman was raped in a park. So I went to go see for myself. I went to the areas I was warned not to go to as a journalist. I wanted to find out what was going on there. We'd only been in the area for a mere minutes when the migrants hanging around began to notice the camera. One of them even going for my cameraman. Clearly they didn't want anyone filming. I was shocked that in the exact same spot, a female journalist was dragged down the street live on air. A group of migrants would attempt to attack my cameraman, threatening to kill me. The video of the journalist being dragged down the street is nearly two years old, but clearly it's not a one-off, and things in Italy obviously haven't improved. These kind of crimes taking place across Europe are beginning to resemble those that are more commonplace in places like the Middle East and South Africa. Given the kind of violence involved, the readiness in which these migrants will attack, it really isn't surprising that Italy has just voted to remove the politicians who bought this upon their own country. I just want to say a personal thank you to every single person who supported me. I couldn't bring you these videos without your support. We have no big funders, no big donators. So this is literally by you, for you. So I want to say a personal thank you. And if anyone else wants to keep up to date with what we're doing, we've got plenty of exciting things coming up now. I've gone independent. You can do so at tommyrobinson.online. Thank you.